It's time for a rave review. All right, the reboot of a show that I used to love and used to watch all the time premieres tomorrow on HBO Max. It's the new version of Gossip Girl. Yeah, who asked for it? Who wanted it? That's a very good question. I'll be honest, I got sent the first four episodes. I've already watched the first four. And wow, I'll just say this. I didn't even want to watch it, but I did it for you. So I'll tell you more about Gossip Girl 2.0 after you watch the trailer. You've gotten so comfortable. Thinking you're in control of your image, your actions, the narrative. That you forgot one thing. I can see you. And before I'm through, I'll make sure you see you too. You know you love me. 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 XOXO. Yeah. Kind of dark, isn't it? It looks kind of dark. Okay, here's my thing. I'm going to tell you similarities between the original and differences. What I'll say is similar is yes, all really rich, beautiful people, similar. Popular girl worrying about losing her popularity, similar. Do they act way too adult for being high schoolers? Ah,、uh, yes. This is way more, because it's HBO Max, way more graphic. Be prepared, guys. I don't even think this is suitable for high school kids to watch because it is graphic. And <coughs> if I thought about my nephews and nieces doing what they're doing in high school, I would, well, I don't know if you're allowed to spank these days, but I'd ground them because it's terrible. Okay, very similar. Here's where it's different. This is like, okay, spoiler alert. I'll just tell you this, I won't tell you who, but you will know in the very first episode who Gossip Girl is. The original Gossip Girl, you did not find out until like the last episode of the entire series. You're gonna know who Gossip Girl is, episode one. That was a twist I did not see coming. In fact, I was watching it going, okay, where's the twist? This can't be Gossip Girl. This is not Gossip Girl. But yet, the premise of who Gossip Girl is makes total sense with the reboot of this show. Once you watch it, it does make sense. I'll be honest too. I didn't want to watch it. I didn't think we needed this. But yet, it was that guilty pleasure that pulled me in every episode. And I was like, why can I not stop watching this? HBO released the first four episodes to critics, so I did watch it. And then I was like, Dad, gum, and I'm hooked. I was like, what? I didn't even want to watch it. Now, just warn you guys, warn you. Graphic. I don't know anybody's high school kids who act like this, or maybe they act like that behind their parents' back, and we don't know. I do not approve. Of the message of these high school kids, but I do approve, which you'll get after you watch the first episode, I do approve of Gossip Girl, who she is, and what she's trying to do. That I totally approve of. Gossip Girl, HBO Max, tomorrow. Watch it with a grain of salt, I'm just saying. All right, I do want to move on to another, it's a limited series. I'm telling you, if I could say the theme for 2020 and 2021 is. The limited series, because all of these limited series, The Queen's Gambit,、uh, The Mayor of East,、uh, East Town,、um, so many great limited,、uh, The Undoing, great limited series that are just like, wow, you get a lot of great television in six to eight episodes and it's done. There's a new one coming to HBO Max called The White Lotus.、Uh, I had not even heard of this. I got my screener, it's only six episodes.、Um, I had no idea what this was even about. I'm like, The White Lotus. It stars one of my favorites, Jennifer Coolidge, who you might remember as Stifler's mom from the American Pie series, Connie Britton, who we all loved in Nashville,、uh, Steve Zahn from That Thing You Do, and Jake Lacey, who was awesome in the last season of The Office. He played, oh my gosh, what, what was his name in The Office? I can't remember. Anyway, he ended up with Aaron on The Office, but he's really good in this because he's so good, you hate him in the show. Okay, I'll just say that. It is set on a wonderful, picture perfect resort in Hawaii. I don't want to say too much until you take a look at this very bizarre trailer. 
The goal is to disappear behind our masks as pleasant, interchangeable helpers. It's tropical kabuki. Aloha. A happy beer. We're on our honeymoon. You're such valued guests. Welcome to the White Lotus. I know it's only your honeymoon. Oh my God, look at her face. Rachel, you were such a beautiful bride, but also very pale. But now you have a little more color and it looks great. Thanks. You are so talented. Oh. Do you really know what you're doing? Really? You think you could have dinner with me at the hotel tonight? Um, I, I get off at seven. Yeah, that's good. I mean, like a couple minutes after seven at the, at the restaurant. Sounds great. Being a young man, this time right now can't be easy. Why? Because we can't harass girls anymore? No. Well, I guess I'm just wondering what um, you might be able to do for us to make us feel better. Where were you? I just walked around. Please enjoy. Belinda is the best. You know, make an appointment. If she's not booked with me. Sometimes just watching them eat every night makes me want to gouge my eyes out. Belinda! Belinda! What I want is to speak to your boss. <laughs> I don't think it's the most romantic hotel in Hawaii, do you? It's perfectly fine, but are you finding it very romantic? Okay. It's nice. Y'all, this show is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. That's the only way I can describe it. Uh, the first episode comes out July 11th on HBO Max, and it'll be every Sunday. There'll be a new episode for six weeks because there are six episodes. Um, this show is extremely adult as well because it has um, graphic scenes. They're, it's for adults only. Here's the thing about The White Lotus. I was so... I, I have a love-hate relationship with it because... It's so confusing. You have no idea how to feel because it's also a commentary on social economics and the people who are rich and the people who serve them. There's that commentary. Uh, every character in this you think you like and then you don't like. So they're flawed, of course. And it is very, uh, very slow, okay? It's very character developed. You're, you're kind of thinking, what's happening? Here's why I say that. In the very first episode, the very first scene of the very first episode, something happens. And that one thing that happens at the beginning of episode one does not get resolved until the very last scene of episode six. And the whole time I'm watching the six episodes going, well, what does that first scene have to do with anything? So it keeps you guessing, and you're wondering how you're going to get back to that point. However, it takes forever to get there. So you have this uh, commentary on economics and the really rich, versus the really poor who are serving them at this resort. Um, you think you're on this side, but you know what? The author flips it and now you're on this side. So it made me go back and forth on who I'm like, well, they're not bad people. Oh, well, we're, hey, there's good people that you think are supposed to be like super good. They're not good people. They're not, they're, they're, they're bad people. And I'm like, it really keeps you guessing. Here's the thing, really great acting. It shot beautifully. And in almost every episode, there is a musical montage of the most beautiful Hawaiian music and the actors are in slow motion, either dancing in the ocean, dancing at the hotel. There's a scene of Jennifer Coolidge in the ocean that is so beautiful. She's just, it's, it's so crazy, but the acting is so good. And it will make you want to get to the final episode to find out what happened in the first five minutes of the first episode. I can't give away any more. Don't want to say anything else. But The White Lotus premieres this Sunday, July 11th on HBO Max. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much great TV out there. You gotta check it out. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. Man, I'm glad I did.